Another local high school is pushing away from filling bubbles and moving toward new classroom experiences. Yeah, some state private schools are choosing to walk away from the region's curriculum, which includes those standardized tests that many schools criticize for just not being effective. Daybreak's Joshua Robinson breaks down one school's decision to stray from the beaten path for the sake of what they say is better education. We've all seen them. The exact same questions in subjects like English, algebra, chemistry. We all took the same standardized tests as we got ready to leave high school and aimed for college. But here in Western New York, things are changing. You're sort of boxed in. You're restricted to what the state wants you to teach. As an independent school, we wanted more control. As president of St. Joseph's Collegiate Institute, Christopher Fulco helped push for his school to remove the Regents curriculum, including standardized tests that have been ingrained in New York schools for years. Why? Because Fulco agrees with the school's strategic planning committee, they don't think the system works. The Regents has, has set a, a, a decent bar, but uh, this program is going to allow us to go beyond that. St. Joe's principal Jim Spillman will join leaders at other private schools like Canisius High, Narden Academy, and the Gao School, who have also pulled out of the region's curriculum. He says the research goes back more than three years, and his biggest complaint of regents, a lack of innovation. We expect our classes to be really engaging classrooms. They already are, but you know, we can be even better, and we think uh, releasing ourselves from this curriculum is going to help us to do that. We're seeing projects. We're seeing hands-on activities. We're, we're seeing kids doing rather than simply receiving information from the teacher. Spillman and Folko say colleges across Western New York don't even pay attention to standardized tests as much as SAT scores, ACT scores, and AP scores. So the region's out of the way, they can focus on the teachers and the students in their own classrooms. In a region's curriculum, there's great pressure on the teacher to cover a curriculum. And sometimes in covering a curriculum, you don't have the time to design lessons that are a little bit out of the box. Now, we also wanted to know how you feel about the region's curriculum. Should it be optional for private and for public schools? So far, we have this poll going. Overwhelmingly, 88% of you say yes, it should be optional. 12% of you saying no. You can continue to vote all morning long on WGRZ.com slash vote. Now, as for the students back at St. Joe's, incoming freshmen and sophomores are going to stop taking Regents exams starting in 2019. Juniors will have the option. And at St. Joe's, their full 600-plus students will be completely transitioned off the curriculum by 2020. As we mentioned, they aren't the first private school to make the decision, but Pete Melissa... Foucault says that they certainly don't expect to be the last. Mm. I remember when I was in Sweet Home, Joshua, and I would grab every Regents manual and Regents book I could grab at the end of the year and just study it from front cover to back cover, trying to memorize all of the practice questions to prepare myself for these tests. Mm -hmm. And clearly, that's not going to help me later on in life. And so I understand what these private schools are trying to do with teaching how to work with other students and have portfolios and projects and things that will give you those life skills. And on that note, actually, Fulco said that it could actually make their curriculum more difficult than what they have now, finding those keys to those tests doesn't necessarily lead to more effective learning. So that's what they hope is going to happen at St. Joe's. All right. Thank you very much. Joshua Robinson reporting for us this morning.